This is no place for the Tour de France, and this is no place for NASCAR. But in everyday life, bicycles and cars do share the road. I'm Robbie Ventura. I spent four years riding with Lance Armstrong and the U.S. Postal Team. I've coached hundreds of cyclists who compete around the world, and I can tell you it's no accident when everyone gets where they're going safely. The key is to know the rules of the road. For example, cyclists have a right to be on the street, and people in cars have an obligation to watch out for them. Often the road is the only way for people on bikes to get where they're going, and some sidewalks are even more dangerous than streets. Finally, some communities allow kids to ride on the sidewalk, but it may be illegal for adults. When cyclists are on the road, they're supposed to obey all traffic laws, signs, and signals, always riding in the same direction as cars in their lane. Some cyclists feel safer riding against traffic where they can see oncoming cars, but that's actually more dangerous because cars have less time to slow down and go around them. People on bikes should also ride predictably and signal so drivers know what they're planning to do. Cyclists turning right may do this or this. Here's what a left turn signal looks like. And if you see this, expect the cyclist to slow down or stop. Whether you're riding or driving, it's also important to know your place on the road. Bicycles should stay as far to the right as practical, but they may have to ride farther out into the lane if there's broken glass, rocks, and other debris by the curb or on the shoulder. People on bikes also ride farther into the lane on narrow roads to keep cars from passing too closely, or they might be moving across the lane getting ready to turn left. Like drivers, cyclists are supposed to use designated lanes if they're planning to turn. Whether you're in a car or on a bike, you should also use extra caution in key situations or danger zones. Take passing for example. When going around a cyclist, a driver should allow at least three feet between the vehicle and the bike. More is better, especially for a cyclist going up a hill or on a high speed road where fast moving vehicles can generate strong air currents. On a narrow road, you might have to move into the next lane to pass safely and that can mean waiting a few seconds for oncoming traffic to clear. Be patient. Turning can also put you in a danger zone. Say you're in a car planning to make a right turn, but there's a cyclist to your right or riding behind you. People are often tempted to speed up, get ahead of the bike, and make that turn, but doing so could cause a crash. If there's any chance you're going to block the path of a bike on the road or a parallel bike path, wait for the cyclist to pass before turning. How much time do you lose by slowing down and playing it safe? As you can see, it's only a matter of seconds. And when you're turning or changing lanes, don't forget about your blind spots. After checking your mirrors, always look quickly to your right or left. Another major risk is a car turning left into the path of an oncoming bike. In these situations, drivers may misjudge the speed and distance of cyclists or fail to see them. Bikes are smaller than cars, so they're harder to see and may appear further away. But some could be moving pretty fast, 20 or even 30 miles an hour. And if the cyclist is going straight, he has the right of way. Bike paths or sidewalks that run parallel with the road may seem like fairly safe places, but these too can be danger zones. A driver making a turn might be focused on the road and not see a cyclist traveling on the sidewalk or path until the last minute. Someone riding on a sidewalk or path in the opposite direction of a driver is even less likely to be seen. So in these situations, drivers should be extra careful checking the sidewalk or path for cyclists or pedestrians. People on bikes should ride defensively. Watch for motorists making a turn and be prepared to stop. Another danger zone involves driveways or alleys. Drivers and cyclists often cruise right into the street, pulling out of a driveway or alley, looking for cars in the middle of the lane, but not for bikes or pedestrians on the sidewalk or on the right side of the road. And if you're only looking to your left for oncoming traffic, you won't see a cyclist coming from the other direction. You have to remind yourself every time to take it slow and look both ways before entering the road. Cyclists riding along parked cars are in another danger zone because drivers and passengers sometimes open doors. Whoa. This happens so often, cyclists actually have a name for it, being doored. So if you're getting out of a parked car, always look over your shoulder to make sure no cyclists are coming. And cyclists may want to ride farther into the lane. One final danger zone is right behind the wheel or handlebars. You're blocking the road. I'm trying to get by here. You have to give me room. You have to wait a second. When you're on the road, conflicts can occur, and it's tempting to express yourself. 
but getting angry, hostile, or abusive doesn't help. And it can take you to places you never intended to go. Aggressive behavior can lead to criminal charges. Revving your engine, blasting your horn, yelling or pounding on a vehicle can result in legal action against drivers or cyclists. The best advice for anyone on the road is to stay calm, exercise caution, be patient and courteous. Share the road, show respect, and always be on the alert, especially in those danger zones. When passing a cyclist, leave at least three feet between car and bicycle. More is better. Be patient when passing and when turning right. If there's any chance you'll block a bike in your lane, on the sidewalk or side path, slow down and wait for the cyclist to pass. If you're making a left, remember that oncoming cars and bikes have the right of way and that bicycles may be moving faster than you think. Don't forget to check your blind spots and to signal whenever passing or turning. Be especially careful when leaving a driveway or alley. Check the street and sidewalk in both directions for cars, cyclists, and pedestrians. And look for bikes before getting out of a car that's parked in the street. Finally, keep in mind that you're not in a race where NASCAR meets the Tour de France. When you share the road, the reward is everyone gets where they're going safely.